guess what? I'm back. And I got another reading for mine. And guess what I'm doing for it? Gemini's. From October 9th to the 11th of 2020. Here we go, Gemini's. We're going to get right to the mustard. Because it's going to get real tough and interesting here for you. Because I kind of like this spirit. The first thing you came up on the 9th. And first of all, I want to ask y'all something with y'all. Subscribe, like, and share. It would be so important to me. So you could uh, share this and we get around and get more subscribers. So this can go around. I need y'all help. So bear with me. Here we go. We have the five of coins. Basically, what I see about this card is just basically you got uh, material troubles. You know, desert, uh, you destination loss, failure errors, imprisonment for somebody. I don't know who's, uh, and this is allegedly for all Geminis, no one Gemini. So don't go shoot a messenger now, because I like y'all. Remember that. <laughs> it says, and then you got a mistress. Somebody has a mistress or a lover that's affectionate, loss of a job, emotional, and confusion can be with this car caused by monetary problems. This person here could have a loyal lover that they're keeping a secret or they just got imprisonment factors that's gonna come out of it because of, sometimes desire leads to trouble. And then the next card on the same day came out was the Eight of Wands. And basically it was upside down when it came out. So basically this means you're thorn, you're thorn of a dispute, jealousy, harassments, quarrels, discord, delay, stagnation, and some of y'all have domestic quarrels. So would that got to do with some mistress or something in this card here? Come on now. If you're cheating, why be with someone and you gotta cheat? You know what I'm saying? So if you're cheating, and I'm not saying you are, but if you are, remember, what's done in the dark will come to the light. Because you forget everybody loves Geminis. And they are out to you because you're very attractive. You're very outgoing, this person. And they feel like they got to keep a backup. So they're going to try to do you and think you ain't going to walk into you. You're going to walk in the wall and don't know what hit you. But let me tell you something. Ain't nobody stupid. Ain't nothing stupid about no Gemini. Gemini's got, they messing with the two personalities. And what I'm saying about that, y'all got two people here. And thousand could be like 30 or 40. But you got a lot of lies. The next, we're going to the 10th of October of 2020. Oh, you got the three of cups straight right. Okay. Resolution of a problem, conclusive. You got healing, satisfactory results from this, fulfillment, compromise, friendship among women, Expire, expiration in the arts. So some women might be teaming up together to kick a butt to the curve. Or it could be a male, don't get deal by the gender because it could be vice versa. So it could be either one. But if it's got to do with another female, why would you put somebody else in it? All it's going to make somebody bring out their true colors. And I don't think you're ready for that, Gemini. You got the three of one with three of swords. Sorry, I said that word. And it's basically you got, you know, absence, sorrow, disappointment, and strife, removal, dis, uh, dis position, uh, you're just opposite, separation, delays, tears, unhappiness, you know, affection, affections, grief. In other words, these women right here, they're not playing our males, because don't let the gender fool you. But there's three here that could be a problem for whoever this male the original person that got is the owner. Well, nobody owns anybody, but the man or the woman, you know, you dip and dab and then you're gonna get caught. Just that simple. You can't do it in the dark and think you ain't gonna get caught. 
Okay, now we're going to the 11th, which you have the Ace of Swords. Great determination, intuition, strength, and force, activity, triumph, power, success, fertility, if anybody wants to have a child, prosperity, deep emotionally, feeling loved, championship, conqueror. But you gotta watch out for them dogs out there in the street. Root, 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 but I'm gonna speak it like I said. And I hope ain't nobody get mad at the messenger. Some people can be dogs and that's just the way it is. They can give a bone, but they don't like to get bit. But they like them, you get bit, <laughs> please. Anyway, then you got the Four of Wands came up, Gemini. Okay, the Four of Wands. Basically, it's a romance, society, harmony, newly, newly acquired prosperity, peace, tranquility, the fruits of the labor, rest after strife, your conqueror, union, repose, repose. In other words, when you got rid of the relationship, all your sinks gonna come tumbling down and coming tumbling up. You go tumbling down, tumbling back up. Okay. Now we're going to the 12th. It's going to get good, okay? You got the seven of coins, you believe me? It's a growth, hard work, process, success in dealing with money and wealth, treasures, results of effort, nearly do. Something you did is nearly in the making. Whatever it, Gemini, you did, whatever you doing, you kick dust. You go and you do the thing. Okay, you do the thing. Just do it, do it, do it. And do it and well. You do it and then you do it and well. <laughs> That's how I put it. You got the death card upside down. That means a stagnation, immobility, slow practice change, ending of a friendship. Things come to an end, but just remember when they came to an end, you getting your money. It could be money. You're going to get your whatever dream job you was thinking of, what you wanting to do. Going to have your head all swimming. Going to be swimming up high, Gemini. Let's go to the last day, which is the 13th. The 13th. Here we go. You basically got, here we go, the six of coins. This card is generosity, charity, kindness. Gifts, material gains, sharing of your wealth, but be, but with measured generosity, favors, especially monetary. Be careful. You know, you can share your wealth and you're going to get whatever you receive, you will get 10 times fold both. Remember that. Then you have, if you let go of that relationship that you should have let go of, you got basically the world, the will of fortune, but it came upside down. That means failure, ill luck, broken secrets, unexpected bad fate, outside influences, not contempted, wait, and then try again. In other words, it's telling you to hold up with that and then try again. Then on the same day, you also had you had the uh, two of swords upside down. Basically, we got disloyalty, dishonory, just trickery, false friends, and lies. You got some friends. You got some friends that just want to lie and tell you some garbage. And you don't have to believe that crock of shit. And I said it. Give any kids on here, excuse me. But you don't got to believe that trickery stuff and deceitfulness, falsehood, mispresentation of who you really is. You're trying to live a lie, get your cake and eat it too. Because when you, you eat them cakes and you get on them other, get the soft, get the softening out the cake and then you lie and then you get caught up. Man, you never known a love that ain't this sworn. In other words, when you stick it with thorns, it going to back down like, and then it's going to go off. You know what I'm saying? So what's the sense? Remember, you don't got to lie about it. If you don't want somebody, move on. 
Stop playing with fire. Love can lead to a lot of disasters. You don't play with people's hearts. You don't play with people's hearts. Because when you play with people's hearts, you're going to get towed up. Simple as that. Put down in the rut down. Put down in the rut down. Let's go on down here. Let's see what the uh, Oracle card. I love these cards too. They have pretty pictures. What the ancestors want to tell you. <laughs> Think it's juice. Let's see the advice that ancestors and the angels would like to tell you. What advice do you got for my Gemini's on the spread? What advice do you have for them? Because they need all the advice that's necessary to make it. Let's see. What advice do you give my Gemini's on the mess? Okay. What advice you give my Gemini's? Remember, stop the cheating. If you don't want somebody, move, get to the next desk. Don't, don't hurt nobody. Don't hurt nobody because it's going to backfire on you. I'm telling you, these cards tell you it's going to backfire on you. So secrets will get foretold. Okay. You got traitor, which means exchange energy to create abundance. That's self-explanatory. But we're going to get the cards out because I want to make sure that I, that's self-explanatory. Like I'm saying, self-explanatory. See, I'll look stuff up because when I ain't sure about something, mm -mm. sister girl don't run around telling tales. Ain't no sense doing that. So we got to, we got to, we got to do the right thing going. It says, it says basically make con con connections and exchange information, talents, or support. Okay, basically you got uh, brings lessons and energy to exchange when he appears to could have pres presentation of opportunities and talents, whatever that you have, you, you need to you need to go and it will bring you abundance if you bring it out, your talents. Stop hiding in the dark. Dark ain't gonna get you paid. Remember that. Stop hiding in the dark. Ask and you shall receive. When you don't ask nobody, I'm telling you, you don't receive nothing but a headache, nothing but a word. Okay, let's try to see another card that they might. What else would you like? Okay, the card. Un she wolf, unleash the wild within you, Gemini. Unleash the wild. Because you got a lot of talents. Don't settle for nothing. You deserve more than, you deserve a lot that you're not getting, okay? It's that simple, you deserve. And keep saying, I deserve it. Okay, now we're gonna ask the angels, Archangel Michael, is there anything else that you would like to uh, tell my Gemini's concerning this spread? Anything else you'd like to tell my Gemini's concerning this spread? I see the forgiveness card came flying out because some people have a hard time forgiving people. But let me tell you something. You hold a grudge. People going to make mistakes. And if they own up to their mistakes, and maybe they only did it because they got caught, but they did own up to it. So you have to give them a benefit of doubt, especially if you're married to them or you're just being in a relationship and you just outcast. You cheated, so you're gone. You know what I'm saying? You, you bounce. You know, it's, it doesn't work like that sometimes. Sometimes love comes with challenges that you never did finish. You didn't finish something. And you feel like you had to finish it. So it could be any key. And that's what I feel. Um, anything that they, you would like to say in regards to the spread? Let's see. If the angels have anything in regards to the spread that they would like you to know. And I think my hands be trying to hold these cards and be kind of hard. The first card we had, there's opportunities coming your way. Opportunities, but first you got to let go of the baggage that's keeping you behind, Gemini. You can't keep fixing stuff that ain't fixable. If you think they forgot, they have not. And you're going to miss out on your opportunities because you're playing these little games. Okay, games leads to trouble. They lead to trouble. I'm just telling you. 
Don't be playing games with people because they will come back far on you. Then it says, the situation will approve. Okay, will approve if you work together with it. That's what I'm hearing. And then you receive romance. Even if you lose one, there's always another. Gemini's do not care. Gemini's know what's up. They know how the game is played. Y'all know how the game is played, but y'all in y'all feelings. If you get hurt, it's hard to correct that with Gemini's. Burnt is burnt. And then the next one called get more information to whatever you're trying to do. Okay, next card. And improving your health. Some of you Geminis can go to the gym. Some of you Geminis need to watch what you're eating. Some of you Geminis need to exercise. You just need to get your life in order. Because sometimes you're not in order to exercise or to do either one because you're too busy focusing on coins. That can happen. I know. One more card from the angels. The advice that you would give my Geminis. Anything else? Anything else you want to give my Geminis? One more card. Peaceful resolution to everything. You can be peaceful. You don't have to act ignorant. If you just, if you don't want each other, just move on. Okay. If you do, stop all day. Forgive and go on. Stop reminding. Stop going backwards. It's forwards you need to go. Well, that's my reading for my sweet old Geminis. And I want to tell y'all thank you for watching LA. LA loves y'all. Mm, love y'all so much. And remember what I said. Like, share, and subscribe. Because when you do, other people see this channel. I think I'm deserving to be seen. Because, you know, I love talking to y'all. I think y'all make me a better person as well. You give me the courage to do what I have to do. So I appreciate it if y'all just would like this video subscribe so we can get it get it crack a lot instead of sitting over here just listening but not pushing the dial okay not pushing the dial but okay that's all i had to say and thank y'all and i hope everything's well peace out gemini's nothing but love for you nothing but love for you i'll talk to you again just call me in a time. Just listen to me. You know, be listening back. That's just a little taste. <laughs> I'll wake it up. Thank you. Bye bye.